Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Sugar MD, the ultimate diabetes channel. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes coach, and today we are talking about corn. Corn is something that a lot of people love. Some people can give up on it, some people cannot. If you already gave up on it, move on. If you didn't, let's talk about it right now. Okay guys, so corn is delicious. You can use corn in a lot of things and I'll tell you about quickly what is the glycemic index and what is the glycemic load. Now, if you are watching the channel, you probably know these terms. I'm not going to go through this every time. I'll tell you directly, glycemic index for corn is 52. Well, anything below 55 is typically a good glycemic index, right? But think about this. The glycemic load is 15. So what we have talked in the past, anything less than 10 is good. 10 to 20 is uh, kind of not so good. Above 20, don't even think about it. So 15 is kind of up there a little bit in terms of glycemic load. Again, think like glycemic load versus glycemic index. Glycemic load looks into more about the, the portion size. How much carbohydrate is in per cup of your food? So for corn, half a cup of corn is equal to 15 grams. So when you think about a fruit, for example, watermelon, the one cup of the watermelon is 15 grams. So as a result, the glycemic load of watermelon is not as much because when you eat one cup of watermelon versus one cup of corn, you're having twice more starches in your system based on the portion size, right? If you're comparing, you know, the exact size of one cup of this, one cup of this, how much carb is in there determines your glycemic load in addition to the glycemic index incorporated in the formula. Now, although glycemic index is on, on the low side, but if you're eating enough of it, you can definitely jerk up your blood sugar quite significantly. Now, what alternative can you do instead of just eating corn itself? And corn is so easy to eat. You can easily, I mean, if in a one seating, if somebody gives me five cups of corn, I'll be eating that, I'll still be hungry. That's the problem with some of the starches that it doesn't really make you feel full enough. And then if that's the only starch, you may just indulge into it and you may not realize how much you have had. Now, on the other hand, popcorn is not that bad. To be honest with you, just because when you pop the corn, it pops, it occupies more space. Now, when there's more space occupied in your cup, then of course, you're not going to have a lot of carbs. So glycemic load is not really that excessive. But then the same thing applies if you're having popcorn is Oh, hard to find people just holding one cup of <laughs> popcorn in their hand. They generally hold the whole big bag of popcorn. And God knows how many cups in there, probably 20. So that, that is a problem. That is a problem with diabetes in general. So sometimes people will say all or nothing just because they say, no, I cannot really control myself. If I'm eating popcorn, I'm eating the whole bag, so I'd rather not touch it. If that's you, don't touch the corn. But if you say, hey, you know, I just here and there, I want to have a taste of corn. You know, I just want to have a little side next to my, you know, healthy protein, healthy fat dish. It's not really going to hurt you. So I think that is the main thing when it comes to corn. Now, some people love corn bread, right? So corn bread is delicious. Now, of course, when you just have bread, it's going to spike your blood sugar. But think about this. You can make a cornbread, something similar to cornbread, with very minimal carbs. You can basically use coconut flour and almond flour, mix them with eggs and butter, and that will be a great bread recipe that will look and almost taste like a cornbread. And that can still satisfy you. You can spice it up with some pepper, whatever you can put in that bread and that can still be okay since the total carb amount in that bread will be a lot lower and some people may not even notice that it's not a corn bread. So guys, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, write a comment, let us know what you think and share this video. All right, thank you for watching and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.